Okay, here I'm going to show you how to how I do a gallery wrap canvas, and I've got my frame already built. I did that in another video, and I've got a roll of unprimed canvas here. You can, I got this at a local art supply store. You can order it, get really good deals online, um, and you can get them primed or unprimed. Mine is unprimed, and I'm going to roll it out on my uh, tabletop here so that I have enough material on the top and bottom to overlap my frame by a couple, probably a couple of inches. Um, I want plenty of material to work with. So once I lay that out, I'm just going to eyeball it and cut my canvas material. Um, you can, of course, measure it out and get exact with it. Then I'm going to go to the side of the frame and basically do the same thing. I want to leave myself plenty of material to work with because as I start to staple down the fabric, I want to have enough to grip on. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to put a staple right in the middle of the frame. And I apologize for the focus. My camera didn't want to cooperate with me. So I'm going to put one staple there and I'm going to go ahead and tap that in. So this is my starting staple and I didn't really have to pull the canvas tight here. But now that I'm on the bottom of the frame, I want to take that material and and pull it as tight as I can with my hands. And you could use a canvas stretcher, but I, my hands work fine. Um, and you'll get plenty of a uh, wrist workout. So I'm going to put a staple in the top, bottom, and each side, right in the middle of the frame. And when I, when I put these in each time, I really want to pull that canvas as tight as I can, tap these down. Now I'm going to work alternating top to bottom left to right, putting additional staples in this uh, material. Each staple, again, I really want to work hard to pull that as tight as I can. And notice I'm stapling all these in the back of the frame, not on the side edges. So let me just fly right through here um, and you'll see I'm alternating uh, side to side and top to bottom to keep the stretch consistent and tight so that we don't have any wrinkles in the in the canvas. So I'll just continue on with that until I get to the edges and at the corners I, I want to staple but I don't want to get right up next to the corner. I want to leave myself some material to work with because when you're doing a gallery wrap the corners are the most important so that when you wrap it um, you can hang these canvases up without a, a frame. So we're going to just pull that material down the side of the canvas and just as tight as we can and, and just grab it from the back and then on the side you want to take that canvas and just tightly fold it right over at a 90 degree. And so again we're going to do this at the top and the bottom not on the side so that that little angle you can see uh, isn't visible when the frame is hanging on the wall. And We'll just staple that uh, down and have that nice and and tight so it makes a really clean wrap uh, for presentation. So once I've got that done I'll just uh, go around and tap in all of my staples to make sure there's nothing that's going to catch my fingers uh, or the wall and uh, there I've got my gallery wrap uh, canvas all ready to go and ready for the next step uh, which is priming.